Hey BBs, it's Max, and today I'm back to you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, I'm very, very excited to be here with you guys because today we're sitting down and we're ghoul chatting and we're just ranking my top 10 brat stalls in my current collection. I did this video like about a year ago, but I still got comments on that video, so I thought it'd be kind of fun because you guys clearly like that type of content to kind of update my 2024 top 10 brat stalls in my current collection. So these dolls that are on my top 10 ranks are again the only criteria they have is that they have to be in my collection um and there's no like time frame or anything on them it's just like my current favorite doll not my current but like my current top 10 rat stalls in my collection i guess that's kind of what's happening i love these types of videos because i always feel like my taste is constantly changing when it comes to my collections and i also feel like i have a lot of new brat stalls that i got the past year that i just want to see if they would fit in with this um video or this list i didn't really watch my ranking from last year i could have you know recapped it but i didn't really watch it so if i make any of the same rankings that'll be kind of fun to watch after but um yes nothing has been watched so this is my fresh fresh in the world fresh in the mind top 10 brat stalls in my current collection with that all out of the way we have to start off with number 10 we're getting into miss pretty and punk jade this is the reproduction unfortunately i mean not unfortunately the reproduction is actually pretty good on this one i'm not gonna lie to you guys i think she's pretty pretty fab pretty fierce and her clothes are so cutesy patootsy um i just don't like the reproduction's bodies i feel like the bodies are always orange and like weird and like the faces look flatter but um beyond like the flat face and the orange body i think she's a really really pretty one i've loved the uh, pretty and punk jade design forever i think she just is one like the best jades like when i think of jade from brats i think of this um doll i think of forever diamonds and i think of the um the one with the purple hair that everyone's like lives for the tennis one she's cute too but definitely miss pretty and punk is like one of my main jades like i feel like everyone who collects brats like has like a doll that is like embodies like the character and like their essence within like one vibe and this is definitely mine for jade i think she's so 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 pretty i love the darker grungier makeup and i love the black and the chain and like it's all so good the, the shoes on the pretty monk line is just amazing i love this sculpt so 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 much and it's so fun every time i get like an extra pretty punk shoe like in a lot or something i always like it's never like extra for long it's always on some diva like immediately it's just like such a good mold yeah i think she also has a really good second outfit i forget what her second outfit is but i know it's good because jade oh yeah it's the one with, like the um the pink jacket and the pink skirt yeah she's tea she's very tea number nine this is like one of my earlier brat stalls in my collection this is a wildlife safari never and i just recently got her hat off aliexpress this past summer and i'm so happy about it because she's very she's getting she's giving more complete her entire outfit has been bought off aliexpress just in different stages of when it's been coming in stock and everything i guess but i love wildlife safari never i think it's one of Nevra's prettiest dolls. I think Secret Date though is pretty uh, top tier as well. But I love um, My Life Safari again because she has a cute little hat. I love the little hat. The hat's adorable. Her makeup is very good. She reminds me of Destiny's Child, like very much that kind of essence, like very like obviously 2000s. But I really love it. Like her bag is also adorable. It's like a leopard print kind of jean moment. The pants are really cute. These aren't her shoes or anything. But I think she's like a really simple one. But she's very effective in her beauty and her grace and everything. Um, she also has like again a like, gorgeous middle part. Uh, mine's a little bit wonky i will say it but i feel connected to this doll because she came in this really bad like cigarette lot like the lot that i got her in was just another jade and a bunch of like shoes and stuff but it reeked of cigarette like it reeked of cigarettes for like two days so it was such a mess but like cleaning her up fresh as a daisy and um yeah she's one of my favorites we are at our eighth spot and this is definitely a doll that i got i think recently i got her this year and i got her in like, m like march maybe this is the sweetheart lily the original version and she is adorable they have like a billion different variants of sweetheart lily i feel like i feel like there's like a 2010s version i feel like there's like that budget version with the shorter hair she's actually back there but this is like the one that's like the like the first one i think it was and she's just so pretty i got her she's like a little bit of lip chip i think yeah she's like a lip tear but this is like one of my favorite brat stalls in my current collection i think she's just so pretty i gave her a couple sweetheart megan little accessories and she has like an outfit fully from aliexpress so i do apologize like she's kind of given ali babe but i don't know these boots are so cute like i don't have her original outfit and i don't think her original outfit's actually that cute to be honest with you guys but i just think this base doll is just so beyond stunning like if y'all know sweetheart lily y'all know she has this fierce mug and these lips are to die for i feel like this screening was used on rock angels jade so if you guys have the original rock angels jade it's kind of that same kind of screening and it, she just does it so 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 well i love like the uh, the blonde hair with like the the low lights i think it looks amazing and like the side part is also really gorgeous like i like how mine i boiled it and it kind of like lays in front of her one eye i think this eye though does have a, a chip in the eye so it's, she was like $11 like she was not more than $12 I don't think about this like um auction I went to or whatever my dad went to it was like an online auction and she was a really cheap little price and I think she's just really pretty again I really love the little outfit I gave her I think she cleaned up super nicely and she just is really really pretty like I love a good brat stall that's just pretty and she looks a little bit mean 
I like when they look a little bit mean as well. I think that's really gorgeous. But yes, Sweetheart Lily is my number eight spot. Um, I don't really know why. I kind of just like picked her up and I was like, I can't move her anywhere else. But she has to be on the top ten list. Like, she's not even like one that I like think about too 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 often. But like, she's she's good. This is number seven, and she's kind of low on this list to be honest with you guys. She is kind of high, but the reason I put her here right now is because just the um she i'm i more like the base doll than the outfit but this is my um re reproduction felicia from the campfire series this doll it goes with me everywhere every time i take like a brat doll out with me i'm always taking miss campfire pre reproduction felicia with me because she's like such a simple doll and she has nylon hair so it doesn't like really break as easily and it's long hair it's really really soft and really silky but beyond her hair i just think miss felicia is so pretty series three felicia is honestly one of the best reproductions we've gotten from the brats current team and everything and i think she's really 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 pretty she feels like a original brats doll and felicia is very very stunning i don't like love this facial screening to be honest with you guys but for some reason when it's on felicia like i fall in love every time like her face is so sweet to me but like when it's on like like i don't know like ugh, what's her name yasmin yasmin never does it right but felicia she does it really cute and i gave her again this little cute little outfit step out chloe skirt i think this is like wanton megan's vest this is like a uh i think a rock angels jade jacket that i took all the peeling off of and just some like regular boots but i, I restyle this doll all the time i get constantly giving her a different outfit for the different the weathers she is still kind of in like her little like springtime summer outfit i guess so maybe she needs to get into her fall outfit hopefully sooner than later but for right now this is what she's wearing and she is my favorite like one of my favorites ever no number seven is kind of low on the list to be honest with you guys out of top 10 but i have a lot of brats dolls and she's just Again, one of the better current Bratz dolls on the market. I don't even know if she's on the market anymore, but I love her so, so, so much. Again, she just feels like an original Bratz doll. Number six is the doll that I just got a little bit more recently as well, but she's been on one of my favorites for a long, 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 long time. This is the original Rock Angel Sasha, not the reproduction mod, the original. I love this doll's face. This doll has such a fishy face, and she looks so mean, but she's so pretty and sweet at the same time. The outfit's, like, fine. It's, like, Rock Angels are all kind of wearing the same thing anyway, but this doll is, like, the very pretty base doll very 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 pretty base doll i love the face and this blonde hair y'all Ooh, okay it's better without the hat i will say that um i have a comb somewhere yeah um like the the blonde on this doll sasha always looks so good in blonde like i love like flashback fever is really good she's like that like autumn -y hair um but yeah i love the blonde on miss rock angels i think she's just so pretty and she's so stunning and um yeah i feel like sasha always just eats in like a little blonde and she is definitely doing it here i like the, again the brown on the back she's just very pretty again this face is really one to die for I feel like you can't like get like she, her justice is not being given right now like on this camera i feel really bad but, like, she's a lot prettier in person, so just trust me on that. But, yeah, she looks very fishy. Mine's a little bit wonky, but um, I don't even care. She's, like, just so good. I've been bringing her around all the time. She's uh, perfect. Now my top five, though, so let's get ready for that. So number five is, I feel like this doll was higher up last year. I know she was definitely on the list last year because she was in the thumbnail, but this is the Twins Tess. I think this is Tess, yeah, known as the sweet one. She's, like, the spicy one, like, the, the bad girl. I don't know, I just, I really love Tess. I've always loved Tess. I think Tess is so beyond cute and so stunning. I love her little outfit. This outfit is so cute. Like, I love when Bratz kind of gives, like, a little bit of alternative tea. I think it just looks amazing every time. These pants, y'all... In the shirt, and the, like the jacket, the shirt under this is actually really gorgeous. Like it's like Miss Independence or something. Miss Miss Understood. Sorry. Um, the only thing about this doll, ooh, her phone just fell. I don't like love. Is like recently, like her neck. Oh, her neck was just. Like I feel like her neck. Like it looks like it's just like there's no neck because of the choker, but the choker is like very well constructed. I think maybe my head was just. I'm gonna fix that. Number four, though, is kind of like, honestly, there's two dolls at number four, but it doesn't count because they're kind of the same doll in the way. I have Forever Diamond, Sasha, and Chloe here because I love them both equally, and they're both kind of wearing the same outfit of jeans and, like, a shirt and, like, a boa thing. So, like, in my world, in my ranking, like, they can definitely be in the same spot. If it's cheating, I don't care. I think they're just so pretty and equally, like, beautiful. I love the Forever Diamond's line as well. Like, the whole line is so good and juicy like even like the budget dolls are amazing i just love forever diamonds um and yeah they're just pretty they have a giant ponytail y'all cannot tell me this glam is not giving it's so pretty i love the glam i also love the heavy makeup and the darky like shadowy happening it's just all so gorgeous these are also like timelessly brats like i think when i think of brats i think of forever diamonds like I'm be honest with you guys, I know a lot of people don't like love the Forever Diamonds line, but I just think they're so glamorous and they're so gorgeous and they're simple, but they're just very pretty and effective. So um yeah. The Forever Sword Diamonds line is number four. I, I wish I could put the whole line there, but I can't because that would be crazy. Three though is it all that I know I know I know is on the last year's list. This is Mola Felicia. 
still one of the best Bratz collector dolls of the times of ever. I think she's just timeless and she's very, very, I mean, she's not timeless. She's very trendy, I guess, but she's very, very, very pretty. I just love this doll. This doll is crazy cool makeup. I love the bleach brows. I love the long hair, but I also love the bangs with like the, is that a hymen cut? Is that what this is called? I don't remember to be honest. I do apologize, but it's just so like, I love the hair. I love the face and this outfit is y'all. Mm, it's juicy. It's very, it's very juicy. It's very gorgeous, and I love for it. These shoes are also just very giant and big, and also very juicy. Again, a top tier collector. This is Felicia Amolola. She's really gorgeous. I think I'll love this doll forever. Like if I had to stop collecting brats, like she would be one of the ones I would keep because I just think she's she's like an art piece to be honest. Like I don't play with her too much because I'm scared of touching her. Um, but she's like a doll that like I love looking at. Like I love playing with her. If I like just like bring her down off the shelf. She's amazing. She's really, really pretty. Number two spot is one that I'm... I was going to put her at number one, but I couldn't put her at number one because number one is very juicy. But this is um, Treasures Chloe. This is a amazing doll. I got her recently. I, I, not recently. Like, last Thanksgiving. I think I got her around Thanksgiving time. She's just really pretty. She's, like, one of my favorite Chloe dolls, and I love Chloe. Chloe's my favorite character from the Bratz line. And she's just very pretty. Again, I love a dark, like smoky eye and like the the outfit's very cute it's very piratey and i know like again the for the treasure line isn't like the craziest brass line ever but like i just think it's like so stunning i mean her hair is kind of tangly but i always love bringing this doll out she's just so pretty and she's so fun um like how do you not love this face like this face is just to die for and this outfit is also just very cute i like the little theme of a pirate but it's like a cute little pirate so she's walking the plank like this but yeah i love chloe she's amazing if y'all have been to her plastic hearts ranking video y'all know i have to have my honorable mentions because i can never just do 10 like i have to do more um the first honorable mention is the um birthday bath sasha from 2008 or 9 i don't remember she's probably probably in hair that's why she's not on the top 10 list because this mug is to die for it just the hair is like gross and like Polly, but she's a cute little restyle and I got this doll like forever ago I feel like her glasses are just not staying on again the poly hair it's just thick and I haven't touched up in a while but it's not great I love this outfit I gave her these shoes are amazing and this just Sasha is such a pretty one like I wish they if they want to reproduce some like the um the later Bratz dolls from the G1 line like give them some good nylon hair some saran hair with these crazy faces like I'd be so down for it because like this is like a really good gorgeous face like this is like a top tier brat doll if she just had better hair she'd be everywhere with me but um yeah i love the party line this line is amazing another birthday sasha that we have is birthday bath sasha honestly ironic that's really funny i just love this gun this doll has gorgeous hair i love like the bangs and like i love when like there's like a little blonde in sasha i feel like sasha really does peak with some blonde in her hair and this is like a really cute little face i feel like this face is so sweet and darling she's a little sparkle in it and again it's not like the fiercest breath smug ever it's not like she's gonna be mean to you and da 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 but she's just very pretty and she's very cute and she's very sweet and i love when a Bratz doll looks sweet as well. She hasn't, she's like, I can step out Sasha's outfit, but, um, she's adorable. Another one from the birthday bash line, which is honestly kind of surprising, because I don't know if anyone actually cares about the birthday bash line, but I do. Chloe. Chloe's amazing. Chloe has a really, really gorgeous face as well. I love, like, the really, like, bubblegummy kind of pinks with, like, the shimmer in it. And again, like, the blonde with, like, the lowlights are really eating. I don't know if I just, this is, like, a new thing I love, but, like, I love good chunky highlights. Like, I think chunky highlights are so gorgeous. Like, Christina Aguilera are down. Like, it's just very pretty. Um, and I love this little outfit. The outfit that I gave her is, like, whatever. I don't really care about it too much. It's just kind of, like, cute and casual. But this is a gorgeous doll. Like, again, you cannot see on camera. Like, again, Bratz dolls also look better in person, I feel like, sometimes than they do on camera, but she's she's gorgeous. We also have Secret Date Megan, who is just... Uh, she was close to making the list. She was, like, very close to top 10, but I just... I'm pretty hung Jade how to make the list, and she's the trade-off for it, but look at how gorgeous she is. This juicy hair. The outfit's so cute and so casual, but very much Secret Date. I love the Secret Date line as well. I'd love to get Nevra one day, hopefully. Keeping my fingers crossed for that, but, um... She just looks pretty, and she's so stunning, and her hair is so shiny, and she's amazing. Okay, the last honorable mention, guys, I promise it does end. This is a reproduction Kiana doll from Series 2 of Bratz, and I gave her a little different outfit because I have two of this doll now. I have one in her original outfit, and then one that I had gotten and bought to, you know, play around with and restyle. Another just stunning Bratz doll. Like, I love this little outfit. This outfit I gave her is kind of cute, but I just think she's really pretty. I love Kiana so, so, so much. I'm hoping the one I get the original one, but for right now, the reproduction is so gorgeous and so fun. I just think she's really cute. But with that all out of the way, it's time for my favorite Bratz doll in my current Bratz collection. And I feel like if you guys have been watching, 
this shouldn't be a, a big surprise, but it is Forever Diamonds from Vanessa. I love Vanessa from Forever Diamonds. I think this doll is so, so, so glam, so gorgeous, and so pretty. She has this gorgeous blonde hair with a nice blunt bang. Again, the smoky eye with the pale pink lip is perfect. This doll came in a really simple outfit, but I kind of gave her, again, a new different outfit. Again, the glam diamond shoes. She's wearing a Sabat Chloe skirt. If y'all can tell by the trend of this video, I bought this skirt in bulk on AliExpress like a little bit ago. She's wearing the Secret Date Never jacket and then a little um, Sabat Yasmin top. She's just very, very pretty, and I always love, like, looking at her. She always goes with me on my long vacations and stuff, and Forever Diamonds, um, Vanessa is just so pretty. Again, I love the Forever Diamonds line. They're just amazing. Okay, okay. since you guys wanted me to show you guys so, so, so bad, here are the other Forever, Di Forever Diamonds dolls I own. I also have Katya, but she's all the way in, in storage, but the other main core four, Gasman and Jade, also look amazing. They just didn't make the list, but... Jade is really good. But with my top 10 out of the way, I want to know all of your guys' top 10 Bratz dolls in your current collection. If you guys have a top 10, if you guys don't, just let me know your favorite Bratz doll um, you guys have or want or whatever that team may be. Um, Bratz is a really, really fun line to collect. I always enjoy collecting them. They're really fun to just hang out and play with and display. And I'm very grateful for my Bratz collection. I think they look all amazing. And I'm very, very happy with my top 10 little list that I have. But um, again, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and feelings. I'm dying to chat out with you guys. But for now, thank you guys though so, so, so much for watching today's video. I love you guys all endlessly. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys all endlessly. Bye. Bye, everybody.